Ja, we kunnen zitten. According to the tradition of this university, I open this ceremony with a short prayer. Spiritu Sancti Gratia et Monetensum et Corda Nostra. Please take your seats. Welcome to you all to this thesis defense by Mr. Kosasi. And a special welcome to those who came from far. My name is Jos van der Meer. I'm an emeritus professor of internal medicine at this university, and I replace our rector today, uh, Professor Kortman. I now give the floor to the candidate. With the permission of the Council of Deans, and in order to obtain the degree of doctor from Bradford University, Nijmegen, I would like to defend in public my doctoral thesis entitled Dengue Infection in West Java, Indonesia, Current Situation and Challenges, an academic essay in medical science. Dengue virus is an RNA virus and infection with dengue virus may be asymptomatic or symptomatic. The main syndrome is dengue fever and the more severe syndrome is dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome. Soon after the first DHF epidemic in the Philippines, dengue has emerged as one of the most important infectious diseases. The left graph shows the increasing number of cases and also the increasing number of endemic countries. And the situation is in, in Indonesia is shown on the right graph. The number of cases is represented by the blue bar and the percentage of the district and uh, uh, also the provinces uh, represented by the green and the brown bar. In the last five decades, studies have been conducted extensively. However, controversies and gaps remain. In order to fill in the gaps and to clarify some controversies, number two, in collaboration with Universitas Pajajaran and also uh, with Hasan Sadikin Hospital and the Ministry of Health Indonesia, conducted two large studies in Jakarta and in Bandung. The first study is Dengue in Adult. This study was conducted in Bandung in three large uh, textile factories from 2000 until 2009. Uh, during this study, 4,380 participants were enrolled and they were followed every three until four months and whenever they, had exp uh, they experienced fever. The second study is dengue in the community. These communities were chosen uh, based on the index cases that uh, were identified at the hospital. In each community, 15 uh, family members or nearest neighbor were observed for two weeks. Every day we check for uh, the fever or other symptoms and every two or three days a specimen were collected. Our long observation in adults uh, revealed several new findings. First, the proportion of dengue in outpatient was 12.4% represented by the blue bar. That's translated to the incidence of dengue disease 1,730 per 100,000 population per year. This number was 43 times higher than the provincial or national number that are based on the hospital cases. The clinical manifestation of dengue, like reported elsewhere, was mostly mild. In our data, uh, in our study, dengue fever was 78.4%, dengue hemorrhagic fever approximately 20%, and dengue shock syndrome only in one case or 0.4%.
We also evaluated the asymptomatic infection based on six zero survey uh, in one and a half years. And we found that the asymptomatic infection was 2.6 times higher than the symptomatic infection. Our data, if I extrapolate to the population in Indonesia now, for the symptomatic and asymptomatic are 4.3 million and 11.2 million. And this is quite close to the new disease, dengue disease burden as proposed by BAT, uh, that the prediction in Indonesia are 7.5 for symptomatic cases and 23 million uh, asymptomatic dengue infection. Our long observation and also based on the Jakarta outbreak show that dengue is hyperendemic in West Java. In the endemic setting, in adult, the proportion of all the serotypes was quite similar. However, in the Jakarta outbreak, dengue 3 was the most predominant. The proportion of the HF in a dengue 3 infected patient show higher than other serotype. Our data also show that dengue 4 is associated with asymptomatic infection. This slide shows the dengue observation in the community. We conducted uh, this study in West Jakarta. Uh, the communities are 53 and total foreigners observed 785. The convalescent cases were 164 and the enrollment and post-enrollment uh, were 28. In three, community, three communities, we found two serotypes were circulating together. In conclusion, in average, in every index case, we found that 3.1 dengue cases had occurred and 0.6 cases were uh, occurring or would occur in the community. One of the challenges in dengue diagnostic is an accurate, rapid and cheap test. And uh, for this reason, we conduct a sub-study to evaluate the performance of NS1 assay. NS1 is non-structural one protein of dengue virus. Our study revealed that the sensitivity of NS1 uh, test was low, and it was the lowest compared to other studies that were conducted. However, the sensitivity was very high, like 100% in the primary infection, and was low only in the secondary infection. It's like 35%. Uh, we had naturalizing antibody data from 47 cases. The, this naturalizing data was a, a prior to the infection. And we evaluate this naturalizing antibody data. We found that the sensitivity was high, 60%, in cases that had naturalizing antibody data, un naturalizing antibodies only to one serotype. And the sensitivity was low uh, in cases uh, with naturalizing antibody to two serotype or more. The sensitivity of uh, dengue NS1 uh, was also associated with the severity of illness. In dengue hemorrhagic fever, uh, in uh, dengue fever with hemorrhagic manifestation, or in dengue fever grade 1 or 2, the sensitivity was higher than in dengue fever. Also, uh, in cases with platelet less than 100,000, the sensitivity was higher than in platelet uh, more than 100,000. That's based on the admission uh, specimen or nadir specimen. The other uh, challenge is the differential diagnosis. Since dengue is undifferentiated, uh, undifferentiated fibril illness, uh, uh, so uh, one of the most important findings in our study is chikungunya was one uh, was the most important differential diagnosis. As we found that the proportion of chikungunya among all patients was 7.1 percent, that's translated to the incidence rate of 1,000 per 100,000 population per year. All these cases were mild, and in 3%, uh, we found possible repeating infection. It is against the dogma that chikungunya infection provides long-life immunity. 
the last finding, important finding is um, the IgM was persistent and in several patients uh, it was detected until one and a half year. In conclusion, the burden of dengue and chikungunya in Indonesia is bigger than officially reported. The second, NS1 assay has limited value as point of care test in endemic, uh, in endemic setting. And since we identified uh, as well one Hanta virus and one West Nile virus, but we cannot use it to estimate the disease burden, we propose to uh, have a surveillance for Hanta virus and West Nile virus. We also propose community involvement uh, as an effective way to early detect and control them. Having presented the summary of my doctoral thesis, I return the floor to the director. Thank you very much. Yeah.